starting to wrap his head around the idea of playing without you. How much of a relief was it to, to be healthy and then to play as well as you did? Oh, it was awesome. Um, obviously, I was scared. Um, but then I went to the hospital and it was fine. Thank God, because I was really scared. Have you broken your hand before? No, never. So what did it feel like? I don't know. It just so I got stepped on my hand. Um, it was weird. But then they looked at it and it looked kind of like deformed. So they were kind of like, I don't know, it might be broken, it might not. So then I had to go to the hospital. So what did they tell you? A bone bruise or something like that? Yeah, they didn't say what. They only told me that it's not broken. So what that, that 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 moment when they told you it wasn't broken? Can you recall that? Oh, I was so happy. I started smiling. I was like, thank God. <laughs> So did that pain start to subside after about a day, a couple days? You still feel a little sore? It's a little sore, but it's like, I mean, like, when you get hit, it's like, it hurts for a while. Did you surprise yourself at all then and the, with the shooting performance you had, given oh, yeah. that you were, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess I was just being confident. I was like, well, I'm going to forget I'm on my hand and just shoot. Was the adrenaline going all game? Did you feel it at all during the game? No, I did not feel it. So I guess after, it was, after the game, a little bit. I put eyes on it, so, but it was, it was fine. I'll just see you guys I've been without Lexi, and it sounds like you'd be at least one more weekend without Lexi. The 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 fear that you might be out too. I'm, I'm sure KG was starting to formulate plans and rotations. How do you feel about the guards behind you guys? I mean, if uh, you know if somebody else should go down, how do you feel about Ina and Justine? How are they playing right now? Oh, I think they're really confident. I think they're always ready, so they know that every time they're going to be on the court, they're going to give everything. They um, just give their best, and that's what they're doing. That performance that they gave though in, over the weekend when they knew we need to fill in, we need to you know take care of those gaps that are those vacancies. Do you feel like they were? Did they play pretty confident? Did they play pretty comfortable? Was it sort of normal for you to see them play that way? Yeah, I think they're just ready. They know that any time, any moment, they can be in the court, so they have to be ready and work hard every time. Obviously, each week in the Pac-12 is, is always a huge game, but as you reach February here, you got Stanford and Cal coming to town. Can you feel things? heating up a bit as you guys are still on the top of the standings? I mean, a little bit. Um, it's going to be a good weekend. It's a big weekend because they're really good teams. So we'll see. Just play hard and we'll see. Do you feel like it's a good opportunity to maybe give yourself some breathing room this week if you can get a couple wins? Yeah, if we do, yeah. I mean, we're 9-1, and one, I think it is. So hopefully we're still 12-1, 11-1. In your so we'll playing see. career, growing up, were you ever in a position where – teams were chasing you guys and how do you feel like what what was the recipe for handling that pressure oh well, i think we just knew that, especially on the defensive end we had to like be focused know their personnel and do it every single time thank, thank you thanks. thank you so much